30 days ago, while I was still in my at-home quarantine in Shanghai. This is not Shanghai, by the way. I literally found the exact same room in the Metropolitan Hotel in Shenzhen just to film this part. Anyways, let's continue. Back then, I had an idea. Since I would be staying in Shanghai for a month, essentially I would be living out of a suitcase. Why don't I test out my capsule wardrobe in real life and see if it actually works? For those of you who may be confused, like what do you mean in real life? Well, I came from the capital city of lockdown. So yeah, for the past year and a half, I was basically in my pajamas, aside from when I had to film videos. If you want to know what's in my summer capsule wardrobe, I'll leave you the link to my previous video. Uh, you know, I made it when I was still stuck at home in Canada. Now, without further ado, let's go back to a month ago. For real. Well, this is my OOTD. Nothing special. All of my suitcases is broken and I still can't open it. I don't have access to any of my jewelry. So I'm looking a bit plain, but that's okay. I'm still wearing these boots because I legit can't fit them in my suitcase. Look who decided to dress up. Someone at the hotel actually helped me open my broken suitcase so I can finally wear my cute pro earrings. These are the shoes. This is my I'm going to the hospital to get my nostrils poked OOTD. I'm going casual today. I finally get to wear all my tank tops because I finally retrieved these nipple covers from that broken suitcase. Oh, by the way, do you remember those cute pro earrings from yesterday? I lost one of them. Should have kept them locked in that suitcase. I'm going for a workout today. This is the only thing from my capsule. I'm actually wearing a sports bra underneath and I'm also wearing my leggings, my sneakers, and my little backpack. Yeah, that's my OOTD. This is my I'm on my period but still trying to be cool outfit. Ideally, I should be wearing my black heel sandals, but I'm wearing these boots instead because I don't want to wear heels while I'm on my period. This is my period outfit number two. This dress is perfect because it's a bit loose on the waist. It gives me some wiggle room. And plus, if I happen to overeat and I'm bloated, no one could tell. I will be released from my at-home quarantine officially tomorrow morning. And I'm going to stay at my friend's place after this. I'm going to move some stuff to her place today. Uh, this is my moving outfit, the good old white t-shirt and jeans. I just finished my quarantine today and I'm getting kicked out of the hotel soon. Uh, so I'll be homeless for the day. I am going to work out of a coffee shop and I'm wearing this shirt in case it gets chilly in there. This is for my laptop. Voiceover Gloria will take over from here because outdoor Gloria has anxiety filming in public. Here's a footage of me hiding in an alley awkwardly trying to showcase my outfit. Again, this is my working out of a coffee shop OOTD. Another day, another awkward Gloria hiding in an alley. I'm starting to realize my outfit options are going to be limited with my newfound coffee shop lifestyle because I have to carry the same backpack every day. Oh, another problem. These flasks gave me blisters, so my options for shoes are going to be limited too. I'm getting bold. I'm shooting my outfit in one of the most touristy areas in Shanghai. Anyways, I'm wearing this blue striped shirt because I'm working out of a coffee shop again. Oh, and of course I'm wearing my trusty flat leather sandals. Yep, I moved again. This is my moving OOTD. I keep myself cool, except I have to wear these boots again. I'm having a bougie afternoon tea today, so I have to dress the part. I'm going all black because I want to go for that mysterious woman vibe. And yes, I'm wearing my winter boots because these are the only heels that won't hurt my freaking blisters. This is my I'm going for a photo shoot OOTD. I'm going to change into three outfits today, but this is what I'm actually wearing on the way there. Everything I'm wearing right now is from my summer capsule. After changing into three outfits in a day for a photo shoot, I really don't feel like dressing up today, so I'm going really simple. I'm basically out of fox. This is my I'm going to spend all day working in a coffee shop OOTD. I was running late, so I put this outfit together in a rush. I don't even know if it works, but it's comfy, it's black and white, and that's good enough for me. For once, I'm not going to work in a coffee shop today, so I don't need to wear my backpack. I feel like this outfit has a French vibe, and I happen to come across this beautiful background that gives me the illusion that I'm traveling in France. I've been editing all day at home, so I don't have time to go outside and find a beautiful background. The only activity I have for the day is meeting a friend for dinner. I still put in the effort to dress up though. 
Again, I've been editing all day at home and I'll only be going out for dinner. I'm probably way overdressed because I'm going to Xiaoping Fan Dian, a very casual local diner. But I'm extra, what can I say? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, my only activity for the day is, again, dinner with friends because I've been working from home lately, but at least I'm actually going somewhere fancy today, so I would say I'm properly dressed. There's a typhoon, so I'm not going out today. This is my OOTD, my pajamas. It's obviously not a part of my capsule wardrobe. I swear, this is not the same day. The typhoon is still here, so I'm stuck at home again. It's been raining for days, but I really can't stay home anymore. I'm going for a workout today. I'm wearing this shirt on top of my gym clothes and... Okay, it's raining harder now, so I gotta go. The typhoon is finally gone, and I'm in the mood for dressing up today. Where am I going? <clears throat> you guessed it, dinner with my friend. Maybe I should rename this video my dinner lookbook. I'm filming today, so I'll be changing into five outfits, but this is what I'm actually wearing like when I'm going downstairs to get my takeout. Back at working from a coffee shop. I love this outfit because I can wear the same thing from day to night, well, from coffee shop to dinner and to nightclub. I gotta drop the backpack home, of course. I love to work, but I don't love it that much. I have these two pieces lying around that I didn't get to wash, so I just threw them on. Yep, that's literally my outfit inspiration for the day. I'm doing a photo shoot today, so I put on my favorite white linen dress. I'm dressing like I own this garden, even though I only paid 15 RMB to get in here. I'm probably the most extra person in this park. This is my second last day in Shanghai, also the last day I'm out and about. I think this outfit is very city chic, perfect for pretending I actually live here. This is my airport outfit. The airport is pretty crowded, so I'm hiding in this ghetto corner to film my last OOTD. Anyways, this concludes my trip to Shanghai. Off to Shenzhen. So, after testing my summer capsule wardrobe for 30 days, what are my findings? Well, my research shows out of 30 pieces of clothing, I wore 25 of them in a month. And even with 25 pieces, I still feel like I have a shit ton of outfit choices. But the real workhorse of my wardrobe is not even from my capsule wardrobe. It's this thing. Yup, nipple covers. As you can see, I wore a lot of tank tops and slip dresses, and I know a lot of you have asked me what kind of bras I wear in summer. Well, this is the answer. I wore this thing pretty much every day. I actually have a few of them here. These are all from Braza. This one is no adhesive. Funny story, I came across this while I was scrolling through social media. I saw some bloggers sticking this on their arm, like this, and it stayed. And I was like, what? What kind of dark magic is this? And I was thinking, damn, I really want to try this out. And literally on the same day, Braza reached out to me for a collaboration. It's like they could read my mind or something. Anyways, I've been trying this out for over two months at this point, and I have to say, I'm super happy with this. Turns out, it uses body heat to stay put on your skin, the edges are paper thin, so it will conform nicely on your boob. It's invisible and reusable, you can literally reuse it a hundred times. It's also super light and comfortable and won't irritate your skin, so you can just stick it on and forget about it. I'm not even kidding you, I wore this to a nightclub once, and it actually stayed in place all night, which is crazy. This one is basically the same thing as the no adhesive one, well except it's adhesive. If you're not yet convinced by being able to wear no adhesive nipple covers to dance in a nightclub, well then try the adhesive one first. Like this. Boop. It's more secure of course, because it's stick-on. Doesn't get more secure than that. Again, it doesn't cause irritation on the skin, and it doesn't hurt when you peel it off. These are the pedal top nipple covers. There are 10 pairs in one pack. It's actually perfect for traveling because it's very easy to carry around. I feel like this is kind of like band-aids for your boobs, but instead of protecting your wound, it protects your nipple. Okay, what I mean is the middle part is not sticky, just like band-aids, so it's more comfortable, and the sticky part won't cause pain when you peel it off. This thing is waterproof, so you can wear it when you're exercising or even swimming. And it doesn't wrinkle at all as you move around. Well, of course, you can also wear this underneath all your tank tops and slip dresses. Aside from my clothing items, of course, there are the shoes, bags, and accessories. I ended up wearing my backpack most of the time because of my new working from a coffee shop lifestyle. I also didn't wear my hats that often because of that. And as for my shoes, um, that was a mess. 
I ended up wearing my winter boots because of an unforeseen circumstance. Blisters, never thought of that. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Basically, I'm just trying to show you capsule wardrobe actually works in real life. Well, apart from my shoes. Anyways, thanks for staying till the end. Uh, my Q&A is coming up next week. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Bye!